Give him. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Sing it along with me. What has a conscious community gotten itself into? Singing along with me. What the hell a conscious community got itself into? Yo, stop playing. Stop playing. Stop capping, son. Stop capping, son. Stop capping, son. I know you heard that man fart. <laughs> he said, said brr. He was like, mm. <laughs> Excuse him, why? <laughs> yo! Yo, what in the world is the conscious community got this shit itself into? That's my word. Let's count it down. Let's let's run, let's run it down. Polite is touching little kids. You wouldn't say that Tommy Sotomayor is like in the conscious community per se. You know what I'm saying? But he, he, I guess he, I guess you could say he's somewhat, you know, he's trying to t school people on black women or whatever have you. So Tommy Sotomayor got punched in the face last week by a black woman on Fresh and Fit. Young Farrell talk about the black woman is God. <laughs> he shot up his baby mama house and he on crack and shrooms. <laughs> Dr. Umar is fighting live on YouTube. <laughs> oh, shit! Yo! What a goddamn week this past week! It was a hell of a week! Oh! <laughs> and this is not even like all some conscious kind of shit. <laughs> and then you got two old hats. Two old motherfuckers. No disrespect, but it's just the truth. Two old ass motherfuckers, Jim Jones and Mano, calling themselves the lobby boys. And <laughs> Jim Jones grade the fuck up. So I'm spinning around the block. Nigga, please. <laughs> you probably taking your Metamucil and your oatmeal and orange juice in the morning. <laughs> This motherfucker got arthritis in his goddamn knees. Let's talk about he the lobby boys. <laughs> Yo! Shit is crazy! You could call me an old head. I don't give a fuck. <coughs> Excuse me. I ain't talking, I ain't doing none of that young shit. You know what I'm saying? These niggas damn near 50. And they, and they trying to get that. They trying to get that momentum back. Oh, shit. Yo. But the funniest is Dr. Umar Johnson. The, the what is he, the prince of Pan-Africanism? That nigga farted. <laughs> that nigga farted on YouTube Live. Oh, shit. Yo, let me tell you something. I'm going to be real with you. That's my word. <laughs> if y'all think y'all going to get something, some knowledge out of this video, you might as well cut that shit the fuck off. This, this video ain't knowledgeable whatsoever. I'm just talking shit. Oh shit! Oh man, yo, I know, I know y'all seen Tommy so my y'all get punched. He ain't get beat down like that, yo. Seriously, I seen the whole shit. You know what I'm saying? To be real with you, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make something out of this video. <laughs> I don't know what you gonna really learn from it. You know what I'm saying? What not to fart? <laughs> what you doing a lot? <laughs> video <laughs> on YouTube. But yeah, man, I, I don't I don't know. I I seen the, the video, you know, the whole joint, you know, with Tommy Sotomayor and the black chick, right? And um 
it was more to the story you know what i'm saying um to my understanding he had invited that chick to you know he flew her in and everything and he wanted to actually have sex with her you understand and um i don't know you know what it, it started off okay and then eventually it got blown out of proportion and you know the broad swung i think she landed one joint i was pretty i ain't gonna even lie i'm gonna be real with you <laughs> I was pretty much paying attention to her skirt rising all up to see what was down there, seeing what she was working with, you know what I'm saying? Because she was like swinging, and that skirt was rising up, and the shirt came down to here. I was like, shit, I was more interested in that than the actual fight. Shit. Yo, man, this shit is crazy. And I forewarned y'all. I forewarned y'all years ago about the conscious community, and you know, I guess the people that are like scattered around it, you know what I'm saying? Your Tariq Shot Nasheeds, your your um uh your Tommy Sort of Mayors, and all and all of all of them. All of them are in one fucking big ass boat. For real. And yeah, true indeed. Um I've never said anything like negative about Tariq Shot Nahi, Nasheed or whatever have you, but he falls in the same boat. Straight up. All of them are, are out to get you. Straight up, one way or the other. You know, um, they've turned for real, like, like for real. This is serious, yo. They've they've made consciousness. They turned consciousness into commerce. You know what I'm saying? And um, yo, it's all about that money. It's all about that bread. And black people, man, as usual, you know, excuse me, we're looking for that Messiah or that Messiah type. Anyone that speaks a little elegantly, you know, elegant. Um, anyone that uses words that we've never heard of. You know, um, talks about different uh, subject matters, you know what I'm saying, that we never heard of. You know, we we marvel over that shit. The reason why is because we never took the t take the time out to actually do any type of int int intensive research. This is the reason why I fell for Dr. York. This is the reason why I was part of that cult called the Nuwabian Nation for years. Because he was talking about things that I never heard of, that I never bothered to even research, even if I, you know, somewhat heard of it. You know, I read the um, the, the 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 either was a play or the story or whatever uh, Beowulf, and that was similar. You know that that has something to do with the ancient Sumerians and shit like that. So I, I read that shit. You know what I'm saying? When I was in high school, so I was familiar with some of the information or knowledge that Dr. York was, you know, giving us. It's just that at that point in time, when I was in high school, I wasn't interested. But I had every opportunity to look up that shit, look that shit up when I was in school. So when I came across it again, you know, being part of that cult, I would have known better. Not to fuck with it, because I, I would have heard it all before. Like, yo, man, I learned this shit in high school. That shit, he talking is bullshit. You know what I'm saying? That's why I continue to preach. If I am preaching a sermon, you know what I'm saying? I I continue to teach. If I, if I am teaching, you know what I'm saying? If I am a, 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 a teacher... I continue to tell you all this shit, man. You got to rely on yourself. This is a damn shame. You will never catch me farting on camera. For real. I mean, I ain't going to let... Seriously, I mean, any YouTuber will sit here and tell you that they ain't never fart or pass gas or silent fart or some shit like that, they lying to you. I've made one of them silent farts like I was talking and shit and da-da-da-da-da and that shit was like... <laughs> But the funny thing about it is, yeah, it might have came out, but I'm always going to go back and look at my videos and I'm going to pay, play close attention to the audio. And if I hear some, <laughs> I'm not going to use it. But this fat fuck, he's so damn lazy. <laughs> he's so fucking fat and lazy. He just went ahead and let that shit play. And it's crazy to me, man. This man is still motherfucking them <clears throat> talking about this HVAC and how he needs this and that for the schools and shit like that. Yo, man, Dr. Umar, man, I mean, no disrespect at all. I didn't mean to call you a fat fuck, but seriously, man, you just sloppy with your shit. And you, like, seriously, at one point in time, you was on point with your shit, but now it's like you have totally, like, made a, turn, like, did a 180. You know what I'm saying? And now you, like, really, really sloppy. And it's starting to show. Literally, like, I saw your face. <laughs> I see that nigga's stomach. <laughs> On one of those videos, yo. It's like, man, seriously, man, you gotta get, you gotta get yourself back to where you were at. You know what I'm saying? And and just stop BSing people. 
Straight up. Like, man, let me tell you something. I'm a bullshit. I ain't going to even lie. That's the reason why I can't be nobody's teacher or leader, no shit like that. Because, man, there's times I don't even want to get up out of bed and shit. Straight up. <coughs> Nigga be like, yo, you know, we having this damn, you know, important meeting with all of the different, you know, political black leaders and this and that and so forth around the world and da 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 at this time like say for example nine in the morning man shit i fuck around and wake up 9 30 and be like yo i'll be there at 10 you know what i'm saying so i know i'm not fit, fit for the job for but for those that are that are so-called fit for the job y'all gotta get your shit right this shit don't make no sense man polite's court date is uh what is it may the 15th if i'm not mistaken you know what i'm saying this is crazy for touching touching a little girl and they have video footage <coughs> oh, excuse me getting off a little getting over a little cold not covid cold you know what i'm saying so it's like that shit is going on with polite tommy sotomayor is getting punched by black women damn dr umar sitting here farting letting it off you know what i'm saying <laughs> while going while live Young Farrell, I mean, this man talking about at one point in time, he said he didn't do no drugs. Now the story has changed. Now somebody slipped some shrooms in the made shrooms tea or some shit like that. And he was acting crazy. That's an excuse back then. But now it's like you still acting the same way that you you've been acting before. What are you on now? You know what I'm saying? Being that you say you don't do no drugs. Talking about the black woman is God, and then you sat here and 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 I, I couldn't believe it. Like you titled one of your videos, "The Reason Why I Shot Up My Baby Mom's House." I, come on, man, come on, y'all, y'all, y'all are better than that. Seriously, excuse me. That's real talk. You all are better than that to be listening to these fools, cause what that's what they are, plain and simple. And if anybody has a problem with it. You understand? I'm not. I, I don't want no beef. You know, I ain't. I ain't about that life. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm a re regular civilian. If you threaten me and I feel that like my life is on the line, then I'm gonna take it to the next level. But for the most part, man, you know, we all are men. You understand? And I'm just talking. I ain't threatening you. I'm. And if anything, if you do have a, if you do take it a heart, if you do take it, take it personal, then you know what? Some of that shit that I'm saying is the truth, if not all of it. Straight up, why would you get mad? Why don't you just correct the fucking problem and walk the straight and narrow path? If you choose to be the print, the prince, and it's for for an example, as Dr. Umar could, would put it, he would say it. If you plan on bring, being the prince of Pan Africanism, straight up, I'm a regular dude, yo. I've always told you all that. Ever since I started making these videos. So you can't hold me accountable for anything. Because being that I'm saying I'm a regular dude, guess what? If you see me in a strip club tomorrow, then hey, what, what's what's the problem? you going to pat me on the back. Yo, man, Langston, 292, what, what are you doing in here? I'm going to turn around and ask you the same fucking thing. Fuck you talking about? What you doing in here? I'm smacking asses and throwing dollars. <laughs> I'm throwing away my rent money. <laughs> What are you doing in here? So you can't hold me up to the same type of status that you hold those people up to. Because I'm not making no claims and putting no titles over me. I'm just a regular fucking dude. That's all I am. And a, and a regular dude is going to make mistakes. Straight up. It's plain and simple. I'm not perfect at all. And I never said that I was. And I, I mean, I... Pfft, I mean, we all strive for perfection, but I doubt I'll see that ever in my lifetime. That plain and simple. So, man, yo, seriously, you need to talk to your your, your peoples. And if you continue to to you know follow or look at their videos and all the rest of that shit, their channels or whatever, hey, it's 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 on you. That's on you. I, I just I just gotta call it out. I just don't understand. Like, yo, seriously, I do YouTube videos and I edit videos. You know what I'm saying? And also, like, when I curse a lot, you know what I'm saying? I bleep things out. You mean to tell me Dr. Umar is that lazy to the point where he won't even, like, try to edit some of the videos? Like, that fart was a real fart. 
It was a real fart. I didn't make that shit up. Ain't no sound effects to that shit. That motherfucker let off gas and said, excuse, excuse, and why? And if I would have played the rest of it, you would have heard him like opening up a window. <laughs> he was rambling and you could you could hear him like kind of opening up a window. This is crazy, man. But this is what the conscious community is about. Should I talk about Sarnetta for what? All Sarnetta talk about is damn the Hebrew Israelites. That motherfucker was like, I don't know what the Hebrew Israelites call their God now. I thought it was Elohim and Yahweh or some shit like that. It's Yar, Yashur, Eon, some. I don't even know what the hell it is. You understand? No disrespect to the, the, the Hebrew Israelites. But I'm saying now, you know, you, you hear from the horse's mouth, Sarnetta, he's a Hebrew Israelite. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, make up your mind and, 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 and be who you, you know, who you going to be. And that's that. It's, it's just crazy, man. I just think personally, man, size going to wherever the fucking money is at. That plain and simple. And that's where everybody is going. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, do we all want to make money off of what we do? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. But the thing of it is, is that this is a thing where if you want to make money, you understand? You got to put out good product. I'm going to say it again. If you want to make money, you got to put out pro good product. And then the people will support you. Shit, man. Like, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? We've been given, you know, I ain't going to say we. I, I haven't, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Um, we. Uh, I'm speaking on behalf of black, the black community. We've been given Dr. Umar thousands upon thousands of dollars if not more than a million, you know, a million dollars to, to, you know, open this school and he ain't opened it yet. Come on, man. Like, I... man, it, it's just crazy, man. I, I, I just don't understand it. I just don't. I don't understand how you all follow these people. That is very unprofessional for a man to just fart and then say, excuse him, why? <laughs> Go look and open a window and shit. And I don't even want to show you, like, they got, this is crazy. Straight up, no lie. Dr. Umar has been falling off throughout these years. And they have, like, like videos of, like, Dr. Umar's funniest moments. Straight up of him doing crazy, stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just ridiculous, man. And, <coughs> excuse me, you know, I'm going to say this, man. For the most part, man, I used to be a follower of the conscious community, man, for real. And I and I understand that, you know, some people may need that type of shit in their life. I do, you know, but just, man, if you can, just choose wisely who you follow, who you listen to, man. Because at the end of the day, man, everybody is not sincere. There are a lot of people out there that just want to take you for what you have. And it's just that plain and simple. You understand? So... Man, I hope you all, you all enjoyed this video, man. And um, I can't even say that I don't mean no harm. You know, I right at this point in time, I don't give a fuck. Because y'all, you know, you 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 fucking street scholars, so-called street scholars. Y'all are fucking, y'all are fucking with the black community, man. And Dr. Umar, I know there, there are a lot of people that had faith and trust in you. And you sitting here farting on camera, live. I mean... He was like, excuse and why? Like, come on, man. You could have just edited that part out, for real. But anyway, man, you know, more power to you all, man. I hope you all are looking for whatever you're trying to find in the conscious community. But at the end of the day, I've always told you that thing or that person that you're looking for, it's not too far from you. It's really inside your body. That path that you or trying to travel down to find self is is in it's inward not out you understand so hey man my name is langston 2092 i want you to like comment subscribe and definitely share this video